Welcome to Electron Online. Here before us we have two normal probability distributions. They look different. They involve the same kind of trial. We have a hundred individuals shooting 10 baskets from the free throw line. But there's something different about the two groups of a hundred individuals. On the right side we have a hundred professional players shooting a basket from the free throw line or shooting 10 baskets from the free throw line and on the left we have a hundred high school students randomly picked shooting 10 baskets from the free throw line. Notice the difference. They both have the same general shape. We see that the mean and the highest probability pretty well coincides here. The mean and the highest probability pretty well coincides here which makes for a normal probability distribution. But here the distribution is much wider and here the distribution is much narrower. Notice the standard deviation difference. Here, as we had calculated before, the standard deviation was 1.58. Here, the standard deviation is 0.6. Wow, that means that we have a much narrower range in which the majority of players will shoot baskets and or show, make baskets. For example, if we add plus 0.6, so one sigma, so we go the mean plus one sigma, that gives us 8.6, and the mean minus one sigma, well I have no room here, but let's put it down, would give me 7.4. Notice that two-thirds of all the players, professional players, are expected to shoot somewhere between seven and nine baskets. And that is indicated by that very narrow range of values indicated also by a very small standard deviation. If we then go one more, plus two sigma, that gives us 9.2 on the one end, and that gives us 6.8 on the other end, you can see that about 95% of all the players would shoot probably almost at least seven baskets and a little bit more than nine baskets. So you can see again, a small standard deviation simply indicates a very narrow range. A larger standard deviation means a wider range of probabilities. You can see that it goes all the way from zero, where there's one student that had zero baskets, and notice, or two students, and notice that there were one or two students that had 10 baskets and everything in between. So standard deviation gives us a feel for how wide the distribution is or, or how, how narrow the distribution is. Larger standard deviation, smaller standard deviation. So not only can we predict what percentage of the participants or what percentage of the experiments will end up in a certain result, we can also, by looking at the standard deviation, indicate that we have a wide range of probabilities or a very narrow range of probabilities. And that's what we mean by what can the standard deviation tell us? Well, for one thing, how wide the distribution is. And that is how it's done.